Hello, I'm Steve Rossetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix Guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements together. And here we are in Adobe Photoshop Elements. Now, one of the really cool features that Adobe has brought down from Photoshop to Photoshop Elements is a feature called Content Aware Fill. This is actually a pretty high level tool and it's tremendously effective. Now you see Content Aware Fill throughout the program in a number of places, but let me just show you basically what it does and then we can show you how effectively it does it. So for instance, we have this photograph here and I have a couple of elements maybe I want to remove. So for instance, this uh, man here is wearing a t-shirt and it's got a logo on the t-shirt. Maybe I don't want that logo in there. I'm going to go up here to this little band-aid tool and uh, this band-aid tool if you, is called the spot healing brush. If you click on here you see you have both options for the regular healing brush tool which is a little more extensive for removing larger objects and the spot healing brush tool which works kind of automatically. And notice that under the spot healing brush tool one of the options is content aware fill. You also have options for proximity match and create texture. You can explore those also, but Content Aware Fill is going to take pixels around the area that you're removing and it's going to naturally blend them in. So for instance, I've got this actor here and uh, you notice the brush size, of course, you can control either by using the slider or by using the bracket keys on your keyboard, tapping them up or down. I want that to be just about the size of the letters. And then I just click and drag across and look at that, it removes that pretty effectively. You can't really see much. Well, there's a little bit of a smudge there because he was in the shade. So if you were looking really closely, you can see that it kind of removed something. But using Content Aware Fill, you see that it grabbed pixels around the area I removed to kind of blend in naturally and make it almost invisible. Let's see if we can do it with the truck. Some uh, places, of course, Content Aware Fill is more effective than others. Like, for instance, if you've got an unusual background like this, I'm just going to drag over the truck and see what happens. That did a pretty good job of removing the truck, but unfortunately, the content it grabbed was from the street rather than from the bushes and the rocks around it. So, once again, not entirely effective, but Content Aware Fill can be tremendously effective at things like removing telephone wires. You can just paint right over those and it will blend sky in where those telephone wires will. Tremendously effective. I want to show you one other use here for Content Aware Fill. You notice my picture is crooked. And Photoshop Elements has a wonderful straighten tool right here on the tool panel or in the toolkit. Click on that, and to use the straighten tool, you simply drag along the line that you'd like to be straightened. In other words, I'm going to just drag from this end to this end, right along the top of these bricks, and I don't have auto fill edges selected right now. So I want to show you what happens normally when you use the straighten tool. We drag across here, and when I let go, it straightens my picture. Now I did a great job of straightening the picture, but as you can see, the picture no longer fills my frame. And I have the option, of course, of cropping it down or even grabbing the layer and stretching it a little bit so that it fills out. But let's watch what happens. I'm going to Control Z or Command Z to undo that. Let's watch what happens when we select Auto Fill Edges. This is the Content Aware tool. And it's going to grab the content around the areas that are showing white. And it's going to fill it with what it believes uh, that area should be filled with. Let's see how seamless it is. Like I say, in some cases, it's more effective than others. This is a pretty, uh, it's about a 5% um, rotation we're making on the picture. So it may or may not be effective. Let's see the results. Drag across here. The picture gets straightened and the program automatically fills in the corners. Up here in sky, very effective. Gravel here, very effective. Off to the left, something a little bit odd, but still pretty effective. And up here at the top, uh, kind of a smudgy thing. Now again, we could take our healing brush and maybe paint over that. And that might disappear completely. Pretty good. And the same with this little smudge over here on the, on the left. We can paint over that and see what happens. Maybe paint a little more. And the program does a pretty good job of removing it. So Content Aware Fill, oh, here's a real odd thing. Look down here in the lower right. It actually grabbed for the Content Aware a chunk of the sign up here. So we may have to paint that out or see what happens when we remove it. And there we can almost hide it. You can see if you've got a flat color or an out of focus background, 
content aware fill can be tremendously effective whether or not you use it kind of depends on the uh, content of your picture but it's a pretty smart tool that can be pretty effective along with things like the straighten tool also a very smart tool now if you want to know more about photoshop elements and all the great tools in it be sure to check out the wonderful tutorials we have here at moviepix.com if you want to know everything about it <laughs> be sure to check out our books at moviepix.com guides to adobe premiere elements and adobe photoshop elements and premiere elements together a big 500 page book full of great tips and tricks and uh, explanations of all these tools. The books are available at Amazon.com and of course right here at the Movie Pick Store. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again real soon.